Welcome to Movie Rundown today. We are going to take a look at the movie Left Behind, released in 2014. If you're ready, let's begin. The film opens at an airport where a Christian woman is trying to persuade a man to embrace Jesus Christ. Before she can finish her sentence, college student Chloe Steele interrupts her. The man, revealed to be Cameron Buck Williams, a television reporter, Cameron follows Chloe and the two engage in flirtatious conversation at an upstairs coffee table. Shortly afterward, pilot Rayford Steele arrives at the airport parking lot and encounters Hattie Durham, a young blonde flight attendant. The two exchange flirtatious remarks as they return inside the airport. While riding an escalator, Rayford's daughter Chloe spots him. Chloe has flown in to visit her father on his birthday. Cameron takes the opportunity to introduce himself to Rayford and bids farewell to the father-daughter duo. Chloe and Rayford discuss Irene Steele, Chloe's mother and Rayford's wife, who recently converted to Christianity. They express their dislike for being preached to. Rayford informs Chloe that he can't stay, but he promises to see her again. Chloe realizes her father is leaving to pursue a relationship with the flight attendant she saw earlier, and she confronts him. Rayford simply hands her the keys to his car and explains that he needs to board his flight. Chloe heads home to visit her mother and younger brother. During a conversation with Irene, Chloe's anger flares up when the topic of God arises. Upset, Chloe storms out. Her younger brother follows her, and the two make their way to the mall. The film shifts focus to the passengers and co-pilot aboard Rayford's flight. Rayford's co-pilot extends birthday wishes to him. On board, a vertically challenged gentleman struggles to store his luggage. A Middle Eastern man stands up and offers assistance, but the shorter man becomes agitated and starts yelling about not needing help due to his height. In the back of the plane, two men discuss a recent invention, an aircraft capable of flying from New York to London in five minutes. Shortly after, the flight takes off for London. Meanwhile, at the mall, Chloe watches a group of break dancers when she realizes her younger brother is missing. She frantically searches for him and finds him playing with a toy plane. They leave the plane salesman behind and head to the food court. Chloe compliments her brother on his baseball skills and they share a hug. In the midst of the embrace, Chloe's younger brother disappears, leaving only his clothes and bag behind. A similar phenomenon occurs in the mall with all the children and some adults vanishing. Simultaneously, the same inexplicable event unfolds aboard the plane. All the children and some adults, including the co-pilot, disappear. The terrified passengers erupt in screams and a group of three men attempt to breach the pilot's cabin. Cameron, who is on board the flight, rises to their defense. Rayford increases the cabin pressure and releases the oxygen masks to restore order. He instructs everyone to buckle up and don the masks. Rayford tries to make a distress call but fails to reach anyone. Additionally, cell phones are not working either. Meanwhile, Chloe continues her frantic search for her brother amidst the chaos. An unmanned car crashes through a storefront window while looters take advantage of the confusion to steal from unsuspecting victims. Chloe ventures into the parking lot where Frightened crowds of people are running in search of their missing loved ones. Car accidents become increasingly frequent. Just as Chloe is about to enter a vehicle, a small plane collides with Rayford's car, narrowly missing her. Panicked, Chloe flees down the street, only to have her brother's bag snatched by two robbers. Nearby, a school bus careens off a bridge, but to Chloe's surprise, she discovers it to be empty. Meanwhile, the passengers aboard Rayford's flight remove their oxygen masks and engage in heated arguments about the fate of the missing passengers. Theories of alien abduction, wormholes, and even invisibility are debated among them. Chloe continues her desperate search through the streets, encountering a man thrown out of a nearby window. Realizing he is a robber, Chloe swiftly evades him when a shotgun-wielding man emerges from a building, allowing her to escape. Eventually, Chloe arrives at a local hospital, where she manages to sneak past the chaos. Inside, she discovers that the room for newborn babies is empty. A nurse emerges from behind a curtain and informs Chloe that all hospitals were worldwide are experiencing the same emptiness. Every child has vanished. Child. Meanwhile, Rayford spots an oncoming plane headed towards a collision course with his aircraft. He attempts to establish communication, but receives no response. After three failed attempts, Rayford narrowly avoids the other plane, though his own aircraft sustains minor damage. Returning home, Chloe realizes her house is deserted. Spotting a holy Bible on a shelf, she angrily throws it out the window. Rayford uncovers clues left behind by his co-pilot, such as a watch inscribed with John 3.16 and a notebook containing Bible study notes from a vanished stewardess. It dawns on Rayford that his wife was right. The rapture has occurred. He tries to confess this to Hattie, who reacts angrily and storms out of the pilot's room. Meanwhile, Cameron alerts Rayford to a fire behind the wing, signaling imminent danger. They discover a fuel leak and their situation becomes critical. In her distress, Chloe enters her mother's church and encounters the pastor. He explains to her that the disappearance was the rapture, a means for God to protect the chosen from
from the impending tribulations on Earth. Overwhelmed with anger, Chloe rushes out of the church. Rayford implores Cameron to contact Chloe, revealing his own thoughts consumed by her. After several attempts, Rayford finally manages to reach someone at JFK Airport on the radio, but they inform him that the airports are full of wreckage, leaving his landing options uncertain. Chloe heads to a bridge and ascends to the top. On Rayford's flight, tensions escalate as an air marshal brandishes a gun, demanding answers from passengers. Cameron intervenes and manages to defuse the situation, disarming the marshal. A woman addicted to drugs shares her limited knowledge of the rapture from her childhood church camp experience, confessing that she doesn't recall many details but understands that God took the vanished to heaven. Returning to the pilot's room, Cameron connects with Chloe at last. Rayford apologizes to Chloe, acknowledging her mother's correctness. He explains their plane is running out of fuel, unsure if he can safely land. In response, Chloe assures her father that she will find a suitable landing spot. Chloe races to a construction site and clears it for her father's landing. She contacts Rayford and successfully gets through. Rayford requests a source of light to identify the landing area, prompting Chloe to start a massive fire. Guided by the blaze, Rayford locates the field and successfully lands the plane. As the passengers disembark, one of them optimistically claims that the worst is behind them. However, Chloe counters, stating that their troubles have only just begun. The film concludes with Rayford embracing Chloe while Cameron stands nearby, and the movie ends here. If you enjoyed the content, please consider liking and subscribing to show your support. By doing so, you'll stay updated with future content and help us reach a wider audience. Your support means a lot to us.